FreshFace depends on a machine learning based face tracking algorithm to be able to perform its effect on a face. If it can't detect a face in an image, it'll show a message saying that no face is detected and it can't work on that image. It's designed specifically for use on images including clear human faces. When FreshFace is first applied to an image including a human face, you'll see its effects immediately applying to the face in the video image. Here you can see that by default it immediately has an effect on the face. And if I view in preview masks mode, you can see here that it has identified a face, created a mask for the skin smoothing, and is tracking the face features. The kind of tracking that FreshFace uses by default is a kind of live tracking where it's tracking each frame as it encounters it. And while this allows for immediately seeing an effect upon applying and immediately adjusting parameters for the effect to see how it can work on the image, this kind of tracking does not allow for motion smoothing the tracking over time, and it also results in a somewhat slower playback of the unrendered effect. With a newly applied effect instance like this one, you'll notice this detect button is highlighted in orange color. This indicates that the FreshFace plugin does not have valid pre-tracked data already generated for this clip. Also, while viewing in preview masks mode, tracker info is available, which indicates the current status of the tracking for this effect instance. By clicking on this detect button and allowing FreshFace to analyze the whole video segment that the effect is applied to, tracking data is generated for the entire clip, and this allows for better preview playback performance of the unrendered effect, as well as motion smoothing of the tracking data, which can be important for the best results for the FreshFace effect. It's important to be aware that trimming the clip that the fresh face effect is applied to invalidates any pre-tracked tracking data that is part of that effect. And in that case, the detect button reverts to an orange color and the tracking info display in the preview masks mode reverts to the live tracking status. In this case, it is simply necessary to click the detect button again and allow FreshFace to reanalyze the clip to generate tracking data with motion smoothing for all the frames in the clip. While the default values will work for most cases, the tracker offers options for setting the amount of motion smoothing and gap reduction. Gap reduction is the ability to interpolate the tracking data in some cases for frames where the face fails to be detected due to being occluded, etc. This face index parameter is simply a way to be able to select which face a fresh face effect instance applies to in the case of an image with multiple faces. FreshFace is designed to apply to a single face, and for images with multiple faces, it is possible to apply multiple FreshFace effect instances.